Um, let's yeah. get let's get to the first one. Working from home has been challenging. The kids are around. Any tips for maintaining sanity here? Mm, absolutely. First and foremost, I recommend having a morning routine. Uh, wake up by your alarm clock, even though you're working remote. You know, get up, get a workout in, take a shower and get ready for the day. It's going to very much increase your productivity. I would say that is first and foremost. And then second, have a designated place where you're working your business, where you're getting stuff done. Yeah, your home office and, and keep everybody out of there. Okay, next text coming in, Emily. Any suggestions on how to stay motivated when working from home? Um, uh, this person's feeling a little bit challenged about that. Yeah, you're not alone, first and foremost. But I would say um, definitely change your state throughout the day. Have a dance party, play your favorite song and dance like no one's watching because let's face it, no one is watching, right? And keep shifting your energy, um, take lunch breaks and, and you know, figure out why you're doing what you're doing in the first place. Reconnect with your why throughout the day. For me, I have a vision board in my house that just helps me stay engaged. It helps me stay motivated. Mm -hmm. Next one is who doesn't have anxiety about what's going on with the virus? How are we all supposed to keep calm? Do you have tips on let's just, we, we, we got to keep our vibe. We've, we've got to maintain some semblance here. Mm, absolutely. Everyone's feeling it. And the only, um, one of the trickiest things I find is just staying positive. And so be mindful how much, you know, you're, you're talking to people about negative things. You can only control what you can control. Right. And so, um, I believe throughout the day, it's, it's really important to connect with positive people, um, and focus on the good. And throughout the day, I will meditate, I'll pray. Um, and I focus on what I can control and not what I can't control. And the only thing to fear is fear itself, right? And so just trying to stay positive and, um, you know, read a good book, do things that raise your frequency um, instead of make you feel more negative. So uh, the next texter is getting exercise in uh, getting out to run, which I, I think is, is awesome and I'm sure you'd agree. But what about uh, other things that can be done uh, in the home just to keep moving? Yeah, I have a mini trampoline that I use every morning. Um, but, you know, YouTube is a great resource. You can do body weight workouts. You can do jumping jacks. You can do push-ups. Um, some of us may have little hand weights laying around, bands that you can get off of Amazon. I mean, there's so much you can do. You can use your couch. Um, you can, <laughs> you know, use things in your kitchen. But, you know, just just be resourceful. It's all on the Internet. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, YouTube has everything. What if you have kids and you're trying to do everything that you were just talking about? Should you try to incorporate them in some maybe some dance routine, something fun? Absolutely. Crank the music. Like I said, have dance parties with them. Um, get them engaged. I know a lot of families I mentor, um, the dad's taking the turn, the mom's taking the turn, the bigger siblings taking the turn um, just to keep, you know, everybody um, you know, um, having help. So, I mean, I just think it's like everybody's got to help each other out yeah. during yeah. that time. Yeah, indeed.